This is Eddie De Hamer here of Guitar Tutor Leads and for this video we're going to have a look at the Squire SB10. It is a small practice amp and there's a few things I would like to mention which I haven't seen other people doing. Um, um, the guitar uses the Gaia tone with the humbuckers which are like in between strats and a Les Paul. So it's kind of medium output of the pickups. Back to the amp. Um, the amp. It's got active tone controls. What does that mean? Turn everything down. Everything is on zero. I'll just um, play a chord. Bring the volume up. It doesn't do anything. Because you need to have the tone controls open. Open up the treble. And you start it comes on. And the treble just gets louder as you do open it up. Which is obvious, huh? Okay, uh, do the same for the bass. This amp, I use different a variety of di different small amps. This one has got a lot of bass, which may be good for some of you. Some of you may not like it. If you've got a very troubly guitar, it can be great. So, depending on how you like your sound, you could just use one, of course, but yeah. You need to find like the sweet spot using the two, um, and that's different for everyone and and different guitars as well. Um, it's got only two, as you can see, treble and bass. So how do you get your mitt? Well, you turn down the bass. You hear it jumping up a bit. You turn the tone, the, sorry, the volume up a bit. Adds more body. Um, If I can do that again, let that mid range jump up. So the controls are that. You hear that? It comes on. Do it again. Some more bass. Turn that down. Mid jumps up, but you have to open up the volume a little bit because you lose, of course, signal. So adding more volume will give it more body. So I th personally think this amp, it's. There's different amps of this range. There's the 15, and there is another one which I've forgotten the name. I will I'll write a block and mention all these things in detail so you can read it. Um, but this amp is like kind of grainy in sound. It's it's hard. It's not necessarily a soft sounding amp. Uh, and again, that that can be good for you know if you like that sound. Um, I have added on this amplifier a line out so it can take its sound to another amp, to for instance a valve amp, um, to give it the character of the uh, of the valve amp basically, or to add the valve sound to this. Um, and I've also added a speaker socket so I can use a bigger speaker. The thing I have to say, bigger speaker, yes of course, what you're going to get is you're going to get a better sound, but you're not going to change the character of the amp. No matter what you do, it's going to keep that sound with the added sound quality of your speaker. This speaker, it, it's a Celestion, but you, of course, you know, you can use any speaker. Uh, I'm not saying it's, a, it's, it's, it's like a fantastic speaker. The combination is alright, it's good. Uh, you know, that's, that's the other thing. But once you've done that, uh, once you've got a speaker socket, you can try various amps. It's 8 ohm, so that's what you need to think about, uh, use an 8 ohm speaker. Not a 4 ohm speaker, but you could use a 16 ohm and it wouldn't be as powerful. Uh, right, I'll try it with the speaker now. So you see, you notice it's more bassy. I have to turn up my um, volume because you lose a bit. You don't lose, but like, the speaker needs to be, needs a bit of power. Um, I would say the basic sound is still there. It hasn't changed. thing I haven't really done yet is the distortion side. Um, that may be the most disappointing part of this amp, but again, depends on what you like. Distortion isn't subtle, it doesn't have a gain control. You could modify it, you've got here a hole for headphone, you could put another pot there for instance, and, and add a gain control which would make your distortion uh, more, you could make it more subtle. So when you switch it on, 
Again, I just have volume on. Let's start working with treble. It's quite trebly itself anyway. So adding more treble. I should dial in some bass. of those tone controls hasn't changed even with the uh, switching the distortion on but the distortion is very trebly off its nature so it comes on straight away it reminds me of a like kind of 70s sound there's one album the Lou Reed live album I think the distortion sound is it's just like that um, it's not like a bluesy kind of sound I've seen people demoing it like and they play metal kind of things. Yeah, and of course, because it's got also that kind of thing, but it's it's a very trebly sound. So, uh, turning treble down, it becomes more bassy, but it's still like very, very primitive sound. about it so I can demo that quickly on the other speaker but it's gonna give you the same results so not gonna be that much different um, of course it's gonna be louder and fuller but similar character really that's it folks um, thanks for watching if you like the video please subscribe maybe leave some comments what I will do is I'll create a blog um, with a little bit more history about the amp and other um, what is it other uh, types which are related to that one uh, so you can read about it and check it out uh, that's it hope to see you next time oh my name is Eddie Hamer and <laughs> guitar tutor leads I'll come